I was super scared to stand in front of a big wall, but I was so excited to just try it. Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. Babsy, Zangle and Jacopo Larcha are the power couple of climbing, sending some of the hardest big wall projects in the world. So we thought we'd have a look back when they filmed and climbed Zodiac. Zodiac is it's quite different from the other routes in, uh, on El Cap, I think. It's like, it's shorter and there's not much crack climbing and it's really steep. And so, um, yeah, like the first part, except for one pitch, is quite okay. And then you arrive at the beginning of the white circle, it's called. It's like where the wall gets steeper. And basically all the hard pitches are like concentrated there. And the climbing was really hard and tough for us. Even if maybe like on, on the guidebook, it's, it's not great, it's so hard. But even the easier pitcher, pitches were already hard. It's really like technical climbing and we had a hard time to figure out the moves and it took us a lot of time. We just packed for 10 days and we will just be on the wall. At the beginning I really don't know if it goes or not. This unknown makes it really exciting for me. The plan on Zodiac is to do swinging leads on the pitches easier than 512 and then to both lead the 513 pitches. We both know that we can climb the single pitches, but I think the really tricky part is to try to climb them all in a row. First time um, we got the idea to try Zodiac, it was um, not really the plan, we didn't know if we can do it, it was just something completely new and it was a big question mark uh, in front of it. So. Um, for us, it was just like uh, we knew that it's a cool route and uh, we knew some pictures about the route and this was the inspiration to go there and just try and see. When we first tried, we had like no idea how to climb them and it felt impossible. It's really technical. For us, I think it's, it's always important to start from the ground because it's the logical way or the logical approach to, to climb a wall. But uh, yeah, I have to say we also uh, used fixed ropes, so we climbed up until the point we reached and after we fixed the rope and the next time we started from there to get further. And um, yeah, it's, I think it's just a um, uh, more intense experience when you start ground up because you don't know what is coming next and uh, it makes it a little bit more adventurous because there can be maybe one move on the 21st pitch what you can't do and then maybe the project is, is too hard or something. So this is what makes it really exciting for me that you don't know what, what is coming next and you don't know if you can climb it or, or do it. It was only possible to climb in good conditions, like uh, in the early morning or in the night. During the day it was too hot. We reached the day goal, climbed the display without, without the fall. It would be good to try the, the next pitch. The gear on Zodiac was pretty tricky because it's like an aid route and it's not uh, so supposed to be an, um, a free climb. So, um, and it, there is also a really big difference because uh, like the gear uh, change, change all the time because uh, people are just removing it or placing more. So you, it can be that you can find a lot of fixed gear on the route or not. And uh, when we first tried it, the route was pretty clean. So we, and the, cra the cracks are really small and thin and sometimes you can't just place gear while climbing. So um, we used the fixed gear that was on the route and then we also placed some uh, beaks, pre-placed some beaks. The reason why we both uh, wanted to climb the hard pitches on lead is um, because we invested a lot of time in the route, we worked a lot on the single pitches and um, it was just, I think the, 
the better way to do it both on lead because sometimes it's it's not easy to climb it free a second because you have to remove the gear and and it's just a um, you have a better feeling when you're climbing on lead sometimes it's, it's easier and it makes it more also more spicy because you have bigger run outs and it's a completely different experience and for us um, it was we really wanted to do it, it this way because we have enough we had enough time to do it this way and we already invested a lot of time in the single pitches and this was the reason why it was it was okay and also we didn't want just to like to use the term team ascent to make it easier for us it's important to always like basically all the routes we, we do mm. we always try to both lead the hard pitches i think it for us it makes more sense it's for sure harder to do it this way but also um, for both of us it's more intense experience When you are there in Yosemite, sometimes it's so crowdy that the routes are full of people or also full of eight climbers, so um, sometimes it's just easy to switch over to another route because... <laughs> that, that's also how we, yeah. we decided uh, which route uh, we did like in the past. We always had a different plan and then we arrived there and everything was really busy and so we, like on the first year we, mm. we wanted to do another route and then it was busy so we ended up on El Nino. And nobody was there. And so we were alone there. for eight days in the wall. And it was really cool. But on Zodiac it was not really a problem. There were some eight climbers, but it was too hot to climb during the day. So we uh, let all the eight climbers pass during the day. And we only climbed from uh, five o'clock in the morning to 10. And after at six in the evening until midnight. Thanks for that guys. If you want to watch the full movie, and you definitely should because it's brilliant, the link is in the description below, as is the most recent film, Magic Mushroom. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.